Hey, audio everyone, Lost City here, back in action for more. All right, see you later, huh? Attraction. That's right. Seems someone has come into our little abode. Dun, dun, dun. It was Nico along. Hi, N Nico, what's up? Well, I'm not sure where to start. Well, um... Lucy? Oh, look, it's Lucy. Hello there, good to see you. Sorry to bother you, Snoik. Yeah, we just ran into each other. Lucy seemed confused. She looked like she couldn't uh, make up her mind about uh, coming inside, so I asked if I could help. Oh, I see. Well, Lucy, if you have a question about your vacation home, you come to the right place. What can we do for you? Oh? I appreciate you taking the time to talk to with me. So I was thinking it might be nice to share my vacation home with someone else. I often find myself thinking that anything from chores to movie uh, nights would be more fun to do with a friend. You'd like a roommate for your vacation home? I think that's a wonderful idea. The problem is, I'm not sure how to find someone to live with. I don't even know where to start. Hmm, I'll have to think about that. Maybe I can help Lottie? I mean, I'm not an expert, but I like to offer my support. Oh, and wouldn't it be good to get Lost to help too? After all, Lost did the uh, design for Lucy's vacation home. I bet you uh, Lost could find the perfect roommate. Yeah, leave it to me. It's, um, I'm, it's all, I'm all here. I knew you'd say that. <clears throat> I'm happy with that if you uh, all are. How about you, Lucy? You really do that for me? I love your help, Zoink. All right then. Nika, we discussed the process for requests I like this before, right? I really like the initiative you just showed, so I will put you fully in charge of this request. I'm excited to see how you do. Uh, oh, all right. I'll do my best. I know you will. I'm here if you need any uh, support at all. No question is too small. I promise you that we'll find you a great roommate in no time at all, Lucy. We need to find Ricky. Ay, ay, caramba. <laughs> Okie dokie. Please just sit tight for a minute, Lucy. Okay, so you'll find a room roomy for our client, right, Lost? An island visitor who will be a great match for Lucy. Find him, explain the details to him, and bring him this way. Seems like the restaurant would have some potential roommates. Maybe head over there. Oh, and if you have an amiibo, you could use the office amiibo scanner to invite a Pacific potential roomie. Well, if you want to talk to someone who already has a vacation home, Take a seat and I'll call him up. Okay, we're counting on you. Well then. Find a roommate for Lucy. Oh my god. If this isn't a thing that, that parodies life, I don't know what does. Suffice to say, everybody, um, I'm kind of surprised that we have to be doing this. I honestly thought it went like... Um... Are you a girl? How can I help you, Snooey? You're looking for a roomie for Lucy? You thought of me? Oh, I have been thinking about exploring my options in the vacation home space. Uh, will I get along with Lucy? I'm afraid I can't say without meeting them. Yeah, you're right. It's probably not gonna happen. Are they that bad? Well, let me know if there's anything else, Asui. Okay. So we need to find a roommate for Lucy, and I honestly don't know who. 
I obviously want it to be a girl because girls should be girls, guys should be with guys. It's the law of the land, right? Non binaries can be with whoever they want to be because they play God. The point being, though, is that is, is this kitchen bopping? Do, do we have anybody here that wants to get uh, in, in that doll mansion? Um, I don't know why Leonardo likes us so much, but I don't think that's going to work out too much. Um, I, I don't know about you. You have a mustache. You gotta be rooming with a sewing, huh? I don't know. Even I think I'm pretty ordinary. Uh, sometimes. Tell you what, let's set up a little meet and greet. See how that goes, as if. Yeah, you're right, as if. It would never work out. I reckon that might be for the best. Oh, well. I'll see you around, kiddo. Hmm. If I can't find the loved one in a restaurant, mayhaps, amiibo, I shall go. Hoo ha! Well, I finally decided on who it is, and frankly, I'm not sure if this is the best bet, but Megan seems like she'd be a good fit. She's taller than Lucy. She get the high dolls on the shelf. She looks cute in that dress. Look a little freckles. I just, I feel it works, you know? It just, it's really cutesy. Someone wants to share a vacation home with me? I love to. I'll come meet my potential room, new roommate. We'll work on the voice later. <laughs> oh, dang, they're hitting it off. Look, look at them go. So nice to meet with you like this, Lucy. It seems like the two of you are already getting along uh, really well. So, do you think you want to give uh, moving in together a try? I'm a bit nervous about staying with someone else, Zoink. Um. Look at their, their, their body emotion. That's not a roommate gesture. Brah. They fucking. But I think I'll uh, get along well enough with Megan. I'll gladly be roommates as long as it's okay with Lucy. Okay, okay. Looks like uh, we got a lot of uh, roomy enthusiasm. That's great. I think you both. I said Lucy's vacation home lost. I know you'll give her a great remodel so the roomies can vacation together in comfort and style. Alright, y'all. I got this covered. I can't believe we're planning a gay wedding, y'all. I didn't expect it to be this episode, but I guess it just is. It's been so long. We made it, Zoink. Oh, wow. I get to vacation here, too. I know you'll make this place just perfect for the two of us. Gotta design your heart out, Lost. Oh, hey, since uh, they'll be using the place together from now on, you might want to make it more roomy friendly by uh, making the room bigger or using some parchment walls. When you finish remodeling, report it to Lucy. I think that's everything. Good luck. Okay, so we have to reopen this. This 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 room is this this whole thing not gonna be the best thing in the world. So bloop. I said bloop. We gotta get rid of it. Sorry, fam. Gotta get rid of the ducky too. Ugh. Only fencing areas. Are you for real? I'll I will meet you all when this is done. Okay. Okay. There we go. Um, it's not that much different, honestly. We can't really do a whole lot of things. Mainly the gazebo and these things are the big tilt to whirl on this whole shebangle. Also gave them a pansy thing and like Sakura stuff. But you just, there just isn't a lot I could really do do, you know? Like, I would like to. But outside, there just isn't much. It's, it's hard to really say here or there 
with what we want on the on the outside but on the inside thankfully there's a lot more work to be done mainly how the heck do we structure this because like last time the centerpiece was specifically that this looks nice and everything so we're gonna have to like change a lot of stuff first and foremost we need to make it far more roomier Um, yeah, there should still be windows, and everything else should be fine in terms of that. The lighting is fine there. So basically what we need to do now is move this effectively into one little spot, let them have another spot too where, where they could live together. So that means she's gonna have to get rid of some of her toys and everything. And that's just kind of how it goes with that situation, but yeah, this is just kind of far too big. I don't mind having like the rest of this though. Like the rest of this is is is, is pretty cool and, and good, honestly. I, I feel will work really really nicely with that. So I could just barely tiptoe our way into cutting it in half, cu cutting it intertwined. But we kind of like need it like this for a lot of reasons. This could thankfully be moved over here as it does not need to actively be that way. That's fine for that. There you do these. Like she's literally moving all of this stuff so she could just like have her girlfriend like live here and have some nice little things. Which I think is really nice and sweet. That's what I would do. That's that's what I'm doing, actually. Uh, kind of think of it is, is I'm trying to like get everything going with that. Now it's not going to be as functional. That's that's the sad truth. Um, we can move these to the other end. So basically, we're having it to where it it's split down the middle like this. Like this is her area for her stuff. She gets all of this. This is like her little playroom right here. Because she was first in line, it's it's fine that she gets a little bit extra. This is what we're probably gonna move over here, and you're 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 gonna have that over here. So this is gonna be part of her stuff. That also means that we're gonna have to change a few other little set pieces, but it's it's fine for the most part. That's that's the main thing that we have to focus on is making sure that it's like partly her room too. And that's the thing that I want to really make sure, like, hits home, is that it's her room too, you know? I think that will be fine. I, I definitely feel like the dinosaur is a little out of place now in terms of convenience to move. But, no, I didn't want that. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no, we have to make more of these. That's fine. I really like them, though, so that's, that's why I'm keeping them. I have to. I have to keep these. They, they set the room so well. Oh my god. They get like so many of these. Oh my god. It's too much. It's too much, fam. Because I definitely feel like they would overall like what they, what they are both giving to each other. But in terms of other stuff, I do not think that is the case. Like for instance, this is fine. We can we can move these right here, so you still give a nice little illusion to it just being in its own little fairy world. That's cool. I'll do that. Are we? No, we didn't quite. It's always a little hard for the death perception because I'm not good with death perception. If you haven't noticed, I am not at tall. See, now that just kind of like, ugh, gets in there. I don't want that. I want it to blend well together. No, that will make me have three. I don't want to do that. We're effectively making it to where the room that we made her is just the smaller room now. It's a little more compact and everything. Okay. So that's good. 
That means we can move something else here. We'll move you here. That's fine. There you go. So now, now she's able to have her little own space to call her own. And that's good. That's, that's exactly what we wanted. And then she's going to have her own little path right here, too. And it just, it still feels like she doesn't have a lot of room. So that's like, uh, not the best, not, not the best setting so far for roommate desires, as it were. So the first things that we have to do here is create parchment walls and things like that. Low wood island, wooden pillar. Well, parchment wall, I think we want first and foremost. So parchment wall, parchment wall, parchment wall. Uh, remove, no! God dang it. Okay. There you go. Remove it. Now we're gonna go ahead and put... How well would that tall? It's not great. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. You know what we could do? What might actually be better is if we have this as like a low wall. Like, wow, this really opens it up. It opens it up too well. See, that's... And it still looks like she doesn't have a lot of room, and I don't like that. At the very least, we're going to move these. Because this is what we do. And I'm telling y'all, this, this just, we just have to make it smaller. It's got to be a smaller amount. Just off the bat. I'm trying to make it so it's not all completely compact and everything, but... Nope. You got to. There we go, and then... We can actually probably put that... No. No. Lost. This is... The exact thing that you're trying to do is you're trying to to make it look more of a room. That's fine. This this is fine. This will work out. Then we just have to move you over here. Yeah, it's a little sucky that it kind of like goes here. I don't like the fact that it's a full divide. I feel like that kind of breaks a lot of the, the coolness to it, to be honest. Uh, so what about a, a tall? I think a tall one will work just better in general. Light wood, natural wood, dark wood. I feel the dark wood would probably... I kind of like that because it, it sort of indicates like, hey, yeah, this is their little playroom, but like they'll, they'll like to see each other there. And it doesn't get in the way of that big parchment right there too. Well, not parchment, but, you know, a little, little divider. And now she has her own little place to be. So let's go ahead and put the little rug here that she needs to be, because I feel like she'd be the more practical of the bunch. That's not what I want, because we need it to be less of this, honestly. This could still be here. I feel like they would agree with the actual thing, but she needs her own little rug. She's like, yeah, Lucy, this is fine, but like, I need my own place and everything, and just it'd be nice. No, that's a little too fancy. Um, maybe the purple. Yeah, I like the purple a lot more for her. The problem is that it doesn't go together with anything else. That's that's the big problem here. I mean, what we really, really need to like set place. Elegant blue rug. Ah, oh, if it was just bigger. Why couldn't you just be bigger? Sort. Alphabetical. No. Type. I'm guessing this is sorting it. It's 4x3. No. I want a 5x5. Five five. Just give me all the 5x5s five five together. I swear I will punch you. I will punch you, game. Are these the only 5x5s five five I have? Green Shaggy Rug. If they had a purple one. It'd be wonderful. It'd be wonderful. So very wonderful. You know what? That might actually work. Oh my god, it works. 
it's not the best, but it works with it. Red works with the color scheme. Oh, with Lucy's dress too and everything. I'm like, oh, babe, I got it for you because it reminds me of your eyes. And she'll be like, babe, and then just it'd be gay. It'd be very, very gay. That's that's the way you want it. You want it to be the very gay. Okay, cool. So we have this little part here for her. Uh, we don't. We establish we don't really need to change the floor. That will be fine. Uh, Sakura wood might be better. Yeah, I like Sakura wood more. The pastel little thing is nice, right? But like, this gives it more of a sort of like woodsy, like in a secret far off fairy place, and that's that's what I like. I will definitely take that in comparison. Uh, we're mainly just having it to where she just has her own little place. Where her and Lucy could have a, a little little thingy thing, little little thingy thing. You know what? This would actually work out pretty well. So let's get the black one. Be like, I don't know what to do with my things. Like, you could get a shelf. Like, oh, right. <laughs> You're right, I can get a shelf. This this will work just fine. Thank you, babe. And that'll be it. See, now, now there's a little, little thing right there and everything. She reduced part of her stuff. And now, now she's doing this. See, the only problem now is the dinosaur is just kind of in the way. You know what? They're married now. That's that's character development. They both got married. The dinosaur and the baby doll got married. It's this very obvious love story. I know. Very cliche. But you know what? The bunny is happy for them, despite you know being in love with the dinosaur as well. But you know we all can't get the dinosaur. Like realistically speaking, uh, bunnies. It's it's the baby doll that gets the dinosaur. Come on now. This is real life. <sighs> Ooh, cherry lamp. What's with all these cherries? Larry's? Carries. I just don't know what her theme would be. Like, that is really what I'm finding difficult with the whole situation. Is, what would her theme be? I imagine, I guess, Dreamy Bed. But see, my problem with Dreamy Bed... Oh my god, look at that. It's so cute, though. No, I need to have this. No, it's too cute. Ah, uh, they need to be gays together, right there in between these things, so they they could be gay towards each other. Look at that. That's cute. That's so cute. God dang it. I was just looking here to see if there's like any ideas of what I'm gonna do outright. I'm probably not gonna keep those things because it doesn't look good. Yeah, we're probably gonna go with the cute bits. So we're probably gonna go with cute stuff. Cause you know, she likes cute and that will fit with theming with everything else. So, let the magic of editing happen, baby. Okay, all set here now. Finally got all the little cute stuff that I want together. And honestly, it's 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 a, still a bit of a work. For one thing, I do still kind of like this because it feels to me like she's sort of like using this as a way to be like close to her GF without having to like bother her necessarily. And they could probably like do little fun little things together and everything. And I I, I think that's pretty cute. See. Um, we could probably actually do it more like this. Now that I think about it, we, we make a parchment wall still. Where you at? There you go. Parchment wall. Parchment wall. Parchment wall. Google gobble. Google gobble. Well, that didn't quite work out. That makes me sad. Uh, there. Please, please stop menacingly twirling my my carpet around. Please. Why won't you fit? Oh, because of that. That's why. Okay. 
So I had to get rid of that in order for it, all of those to go. I really like that though. Uh, I, I want it to work out just fine. So we're going to have to get rid of these because there's extra wall layers and everything. I guess we'll just have to keep it that way. It's fine. I'm just a little annoyed, you know? Like it would have been nice. You know, if we were older. We didn't have to work so hard. And wouldn't it be nice if we're together? Playing lots of little crazy dolls. Doing little cute things to the birder. Got to bird to bird, dear bird to bird. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I, 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 do you think? No. No. Never. I just wanted to do this so it just there's a nice little thing here. But now I gotta go over here, change this up. Yeah, there to there. It's this fine. It, it works just fine. And we have a little thing there. It's a little destroyed. Ugh, it doesn't look good enough that way. There you go. It will just be the way that it is. It is what it is. And then we could just have it like that. Or we could do the whole entire wood pillar. The wood pillar does look better. I, I will say. I'm gently surprised how well that worked. I'm a little annoyed that it had to be this way. But it's fine. Why do you do this to me? Why? Yeah, I you got pretty much the whole thing that I want. So we'll just... See, I want it to kind of be in the middle to sort of, like, bring the two together. But at the same time, there just really isn't a way to, so just... Oh well. So we'll just do it this way. It's fine. She just has a little home. This, this is the way it works. So she has a little vanity thing here, and then on top of that, there's a little organizer that she gets. She likes to organize herself. Nice and fancy-like. Then we'll go ahead and put this here. Marushka. Marushka doll. That, that could just go away doll. And then... Yeah, kind of. I, I don't really have anything else here. Again, I really wish there was more of a thing. Like, we, we could make it more of a thing, but I guess not. The most we could really do is just stick to the fact that she gets more ground, because she... This is telling where they both live. They, they both sleep here and everything. And yes, of course they sleep together. Come on. Like, honestly. You're old enough to know. You're old enough. Your two ants living together. Yeah. Really? Whatever. I'm just a little sad it doesn't quite work out the way that I want it to. Just just a little. Uh. Again, it's fine if it's like this. I guess what we could probably do is we could do another one right here. There you go. It's a little more walled off, so it has she has a bit more space to it. But like even then, it feels like there's a, a big ass barrier here that I just do not like. I just I don't know how else to make it better. But at the same time, I really like it being closed off into its one little thing. We're gonna get rid of this and actually just put this over here. This this is far cuter to do. And I still love the fact that like the bunny is like just with them and they're married together. I think it's really cutesy. I think it works out quite well. Now we just bring this over here. We're gonna move it. It should be fine, right? It's, it's not in the way. Nope, not in the way. Nothing, no how. So just put that there. And put the little thing right here. And... We'll move you over here. There you go. So now they have like a nice little everything. 
You know what? We'll move it over here. There you go. It's crazy enough to work. There you go. Yeah, you can get on in in both sides that way. So she has like a little nightstand and everything, and you have like a little couch to just kind of like. Well, let's let's have them watch the outdoors more than anything else. I really like that idea. Then this could move on. So let's say that she show she helps sew like the dolls that Lucy gets. You know, I like that idea. Yes, head kind of now. So she does a little bit of sewing on the side here, and then just like they have that as a thing. Nothing else is really too too uppity about this. Fortunately, we can't hang things on this side, and that makes me really sad. You can't hang things on portrait walls because. You could do a lot of cooler things with it, but it's fine. I really don't feel we need to add anything else. And I'm a little sad that it just kind of like to divide room. Because that doesn't feel quite what lesbians do. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we, liked, we like our partners. We're not straight people, you know? So, I, I, I more so this is like a play area for both of them and then this is just like relaxing time and this is mainly her area is is to be over here that's how i'm justifying it to myself oh that looks so cute she's kind of right there oh look at that why do you always go to reading there's a mirror right there you can't check to look in the mirror for yourself are you for real come on Come on. Lady, I swear to you. And also we need to change her outfit. <gasps> we can make it into a sweater. That's so cute. And then we can do this. Mm. Dollhouse dress. Well, Lucy's white, so let's do that way. No! Why did you do this to me? Okay. There, we're done. I like this. They, they, they kind of match with each other. And you have a sort of red. Let's let's get you more of a pink. Can we have more of pink in that dress? I hope so. I'll be sad otherwise. This makes everything else futile. Frutal. Where the hell are you? Where are you? Oh my god. Yeah, there's a, there's a there's a ton ton more. Kiki Lala dress is cute, but like that's not what I want. Where is it? This is nonsense. This is utter nonsense of where I had to find things. Okay, fine. Never mind. What is this? A furly dress. And then we could just do dollhouse stuff. I think, I guess we could just give her a dollhouse dress, right? I don't like that she was she was giving me them fuck me eyes like like girl you are in a committed relationship you did not say that you were poly I'm, I'm not comfortable no it's fine they're fine in this little thing this is a little eh I'm gonna be real it, it feels a little eh I'm still proud of this in terms of the dollhouse thing and the fact that they're able to like have that is nice too I think it works out but I definitely feel this is still a fairly low tier area for us. And I'm just like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, the vacation home, it's, it's ready, all right. Oh, how lovely. Thank you so much. So originally this house this home's theme was Doll Manor. Are you sure you want to use the same name? Oh, yeah, I'll pick a new one. Yes. Dolly's abode. I love it, Snoike. I mean, she just love anything. This bitch, you know what I'm saying? B, B, T. Look at these girls. Oh, they made out in front of dolls. They like to kiss. And touch each other. They are so cute with each other. Uh, uh. 
They're like two dolls together, except they're mm -mm, gays. <laughs>